Hello and welcome back to the Outer World. So, I think we've got a very obvious quest to hand in at the start of today. We've got... Oh no, I've lost it. Ah yes, we've got who goes there. Claim a bounty reward from... Uh, was that Commandant Sanita? Anyway, we have to go and hand in this lighter and get some money. And that should give us the exact amount of money that we need. Well, actually, I don't know how much the bounty gives you. But it should give us an amount of money that will allow us to go and get the nav key that we're looking for. So, let's go. Oh, a little bit of lag there when I'm moving. Hopefully it'll clear itself up. Yeah, it seems a little bit better now. Cool. So yeah, first move should be nice and easy. And then we maybe we could leave here. Not that I want to. What do you do? I thought they were praying. No, they're just kind of standing there. Okay, weird. It anyway. Me, or has it been deader than usual around here? Chief wants to reduce board traffic. What is up with your eyes? More pads. Are there they enough are trains in to make up the difference? Take another look at that half-empty docking bay and tell me what you think. Hmm, okay. So things are dead around here. We kind of got that. Right. We're here and we should have somebody right about there. Right. Hello. How goes the hunt? I've been ruminating on it and I decided if you ain't killed McRed yet... I want you to hurt him a little before you do. Nothing excessive, mind you, but the scoundrel deserves a light beating at least before he kicks off. Oh, okay, well, you know, good news. I killed him and I roughed him up a bit before I did it. I believe I'm growing fond of you, bounty hunter. If you got the Mardettes backs, the Mardettes have got yours. Here's the bounty payout. Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. That's a lot of XP, but did we get any money? We only got a thousand. Okay, so we don't quite have enough yet. That's fine. Um, now, I think, was thinking we could do the quest for Jesse as well while we're here. Or the quest to go and see Jesse, who is currently in... Um, it's not this one. Currently in the medical bay. So... What we need to do is we need to get in the back, and we have a way in the back because we can sneak all the way around. I think it's through here. And then through this, not through that one. There was definitely a way to sneak through the back. Ah, it was back here, wasn't it? Yes. Was it? Yes. Behind the bins, sneak through here, and then right back, we should have what we're looking for. Somewhere along here. Yes, yeah, so this is our way in, in theory. But we need another four of those. Is this the right place? Looks like it could be the right place. Yes, yeah, so we need another four of those. Okay. Well, in which case, we can go and see if Gladys has any for sale. Although, I don't think she has any more. Oh. Yeah, we'll have that. Right. Ooh. And go. Right. Lattice, you have any more for sale? Hey, Lattice. It's almost time for today's episode of The Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? No, not really. Uh, I want to have a look at what you got for sale. I found a hen. So you sell four of those. That's actually exactly what I need. Yeah, I would like all four of those, please. Yep. Thank you. Wonderful. Well, that, that was really easy overall. So, through here. Also, they're not expensive whatsoever. Ooh, another bit of a brew. You know, if I sold all of these, we'd probably be doing a little bit better in terms of money, but that's fine. Right. So, am I able to break in here now? Yes. Fantastic. Nicely done. Stand still. Okay. We know there's somebody there. Just want to sneak a little bit. Can't see anyone. If I open it. You got anyone in here? Nope. Okay. Nothing back there. Do a little quick save. We are getting spotted, so I am going to leave. Let it reset and then come back in. Okay. Just walk like we belong here. You ever wonder if maybe folks keep doors closed for a reason? Well, no. 
I assume the reason is we haven't got here yet. Okay, got it. It's fine. Nothing there? Locked? Okay. Are you Jesse? To the last ratchet on rotten time. Leave me in peace. You whole headed quacks do you know that restful recuperation requires not being disturbed, don't you? Ellie sent me. What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. But I'll be fine, so long as I'm left alone. Hmm. She's worried about you. A lot. Criminy. She really ain't gonna drop this, is she? Alright, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. Oh, okay then. Hello. The truth is, I'm not sick. But if you repeat what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them. A lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So, I hold up here to lay low. Okay. Um. Well. Ellie asked me to help you, so that's what I plan to do. Udon Bedford's the board guy on the station. He'd know how I stand with them. If you can square things for me, I'd owe you one even bigger than Ellie owes me. Um, what did you do that got you in trouble? What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Okay. Well, level with me or walk away right now. You'd let a poor, ill woman get disappeared by the board? Awfully cold-blooded of you. Though I admire your backbone. All right, I'll fess this part up too, if it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. Okay, so you stole it. If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the Med Bay? I was gonna steal it. Lined up Udom as my buyer, he paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. Ooh. Anywho, I barely made it out with my life, and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Well, I'll talk to Udom for you. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? Yeah. I guess. Uh, our disguise is about to run out. Are we screwed? Potentially. Uh, am I over encumbered? Yes, yes I am. Okay, which one is break down? Yeah, let's break down that one. That's fine. Can't do anything else, so let's leave. What do you think you're doing? Uh, I was just leaving. I don't want any trouble out of you. Well, that worked. Okay, then. That works for me. Uh, right. And we're out. So now all we have to go and speak... All I have to do is go and speak to Udom. And Udom likes us. So we should be fine. Well, I mean, he doesn't hate me. us. I think. Anyway, let's keep going. Uh, it's along here, and Udom is in this building. Right. Hey, Udom. What's up? How do you do? How do you do? Huh. How might I assist you? Well, um, I'm here about Jessie Doyle. I want her debt settled. Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. Oh, okay then. Um, I'll pay off her. Kind and efficient. Can't say I disapprove. Although, seeing as this woman isn't a member of our crew, it'd be nice if the price weren't 
quite so high. I think you may have underestimated the size of Miss Doyle's debt. If you'll look over this itemized bill. Um... You're charging her that much for emotional anguish, really? I am extremely anguished, Captain. Please respect my feelings in this difficult time. I doubt Mr. Bedford's ever felt real pain. We could introduce him to the sort of suffering that actually constitutes extreme anguish. For the good of his understanding, of course. For the good of his understanding. Be careful you don't irritate my guards, Vicar. You might not like their rather narrow understanding of what constitutes excessive force. Okay. Um, I'll cover the... I'll cover it. Yeah, 2,250 bits. I'm glad we could come to an accommodation. You may inform Miss Doyle that our collections agent will be recalled. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? No, that's it. See ya. I mean, I don't know if I'm getting money for this. Also, that does put us further away from the 10,000. I wonder if you can soft lock. Uh, I hope not. But anyway. Um... It should be fine. I mean, we have a lot of guns we could sell if we need to, so... Should be fine. Hopefully. Maybe. Right. In here. Move this way. It'd be nice if they had a quicker way in, but we can't walk in the front door, can we? So... We gotta take what we can get. Right. Walk straight around this officer. Straight in here. And hello, Jesse. Got word from Udom, from the hitman who trailed me the other night. Seems I'm in the clear, thanks to you squaring my debt. You sure saved my skin, stranger. All debts between me and Ellie are cleared. We got a thousand there. Okay. Anyway, watch yourself while I'm gone. Cool. So that's uh, 1,000 we got back. So we, we spent 1,250 on it, effectively. But now we get to go and see Ellie and see what she gives us. Maybe I should have seen Ellie before I saw Udom. Maybe that would have worked. But, I don't know. Maybe she would have had something for us. Maybe she could have paid the bribe. Hmm, potentially. Anyway. All the way through here. And I think Ellie was just outside the front, wasn't she? Wish I could say it was good oh. to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. Except being right. That's nice, too. Hello. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. Oh, wow. Um, are you saying you'll work for me just because I helped Jesse? If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. Um, what exactly did Jesse do for you anyway? She helped me win a bet. What was the bet? We were on a smuggling run planet side when our point man bet me I couldn't outrun a mantisaur. And? And, as you can probably guess, the thing was faster than it looked. Probably would have caught me if Jesse hadn't picked it off. So she saved your life. Yeah, but the important thing is I won the bet. You really don't like owing people, do you? It's like people touching a cookie and leaving it in the box. It's just one of those things that gets under my skin. Well, welcome aboard, Ellie. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Um, okay. Vicar, head back to the ship. I'll catch up with you later. Dr. Fenhill, glad you opted to join us. It'll be good to have a Sawbones on the crew. A level up and a new party member? It couldn't be better. So, here, what are we going to get? If I put another couple points here, we can get up to 30, but the it's not really going to be a barrier 30, probably. You get engineering up to 40. Chance to extract a basic mod when you break down. Which is interesting. What else have we got in here that could be useful? 
One would put us up to a 30 in lie, which might be useful. We can go all the way up to a 50 in persuade. Hmm. Okay, that's def that is the kind of usual barrier you might run into. I could go up to 50 in persuade and then put a single point in long guns. Yeah, I think that's probably our best move. So I'll go all the way up to 50 there. And then a single point. I see, if I've got a single point, have I got anything else I could use a single point for? No. Okay. Then I will put a single point in long guns. Nice. So that all works out pretty well. Uh, apply. Then journal. Um, oh, we got a new codex. What's, in, what's codex give you? Don't even know where... Oh, companions? No. Where's that going to be? I, oh. Right. It's just telling us about dialogues. That's okay. Pavarti. We can get another... We can get a tier two here. Range damage, armor rating, melee damage, chance to extract mods in the field. Yes, I would I'd like my increased chance of looting mods. More loot, always good. Ellie. So she has the auto mag pistol and the officer's spine. That's an interesting looking one. Okay. Uh, and then we can also get her two perks. So what does she give us? Medical. Cool. Then heal amount granted by the medical inhaler. That sounds neat. Yeah, we'll have that as well. I like the ones that buff me. So I don't have to really rely on the party members. That's cool, though. Right. Oh, we should speak with her. Yeah. Hey, Ellie. Something on your mind? Yeah. Um, I'd like to know more about you. I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero-G cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. Uh, what's a zero-G cocktail? It's a mix of whatever you've got on hand. Usually zero-G brew with some Spectrum vodka if you're lucky. Purpleberry shake if you're not. Okay, I like it. I'll make you one sometime. If you don't enjoy it, I'll make a few more until you do. That's the way it works. Uh, do you have much experience contracting out with other captains? Sure do. Some of it was even legal. What's that supposed to mean? There's a lot of business that goes through the Groundbreaker. Some of it's board-authorized freight hauling, and some of it's not. I've done all types of work with all kinds of crews. If there's one thing you ought to know about me, it's that I won't tell you your business. Your ship, your way. That sounds reasonable. Glad to hear it. It's worked for me this long. I was hoping to know something more personal about you. Well, my blood type is AB positive, I'm a Leo, and I despise Space Hospital. Never mind what anyone else tries to tell you. That about covers it. Um, where are you from? How'd you get into this line of work? Aw, oh, come on. That stuff's boring. You're deflecting. Look, the thing I've learned about living in close quarters is that you've got to give people room to breathe. I'm all for making a few bits together and having fun doing it. But let's keep a little professional distance. Okay. No complaints here. Right, let's go. Well, that was short and sweet. Um, right, so... What journal quests have we got left? Uh, so we got Salvager in the Sky, which we can't do until we get access to Stellar Bay, which is passage to anywhere. The Empty Man, can't do. Cleaning Machine, can't do. Drinking Sapphire Wine, can do. But I don't want to do it right now. Can't do. Can do. Oh, wow. Wait, do we have no more quests? Oh, wait, do we have any botched quests? No. Okay. I like how it says botched and not failed. Um, Alright. Uh, was there any more quests back? I've got the feeling there were more quests back in engineering, actually, for us to get. If not, then I can just sell things till we get 10,000 uh, bits. You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. And no, Ellie, that offer does not extend to you broadcasting another of your crude jokes. Hey, that's a real planet. And no one's seen it in a long time. Damn it, that's Ellie, I don't have time for your shenanigans. Anyway, like I was saying, you aiming to send a message, you better be quick. Um, why would we run out of time? You headed somewhere? Me? 
No, but our relaying capabilities? That's on the final countdown. We're going offline in three, two, one and a half. No. Wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or, uh, sometime dire soon. Um, why are you about to lose comm capabilities? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The event's forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. That'll put the whole system in a right dire situation. We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Um, okay. How are you cut off by losing one relay station? Well, we wouldn't be utterly and completely blacked out, but we'd lose the majority of our comm traffic for sure. Ships and colonies on Terra 2 need a clear line from their communications towers to the groundbreaker for the transmissions to make it through. If it's not clear, they transmit to the closest relay station, which stores the message, then passes it along when our orbits align. What about the um, other auxiliary relay stations? The others won't be in orbital range during the occlusion event. Isn't it some law of the universe? The relay I gotta rely on is, of course, the one on the fritz. Of course. Can't ships relay messages to each other? That they can and they do, but only between ships owned by the same corporation. No corporal authorized sending messages through a ship owned by a rival. And no corporal relay messages for the Wildcat freighters, not without charging them more than they'll make in a single haul anyway. That's why we're the message hub. The Groundbreakers neither corporate owned nor board controlled. Our comms are neutral. Okay, can't the board handle the messages? She kind of answered that, but I'm going to ask it. Sure. I mean, they got their own relays and all, but they'll only send along messages the corporations pay for. And then they charge folks to send messages back, often more than they can afford. And none of that money goes to the Groundbreaker. Just tightens the board's grip on our throat. Okay. Um, don't, don't you charge people for messages too? Not nearly as much, and that money goes to keeping the station operational. Helps keep us independent. If we lose the message fees, the entire ship will feel the pinch. Before long, the only place for people to trade words and goods will be on Terra 2, right under the board's control. That'd spell the end of Groundbreaker. Okay, okay. Well, sounds like it's time to get the auxiliary station back online. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. Well, um, I could check out the relay. No need for official sign-off in that case. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky, or I'll get my approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the Relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? Yeah, definitely. Wait. You just uh, let messages from Earth sit in memory on an orbital Relay? It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. All right, well, I'm off. Anyone else got any quests for us in here? Like ones that might make us money more immediately? Hello. Be seeing you, stranger. Nope, hello. These old systems are fake. Nope. Okay, so nobody has any quests for us. Well, that's not a great situation. Um, so I have no money. And yeah, I have no quests. Well, short of turning in Phineas, which I think would also... That's how you can't softlock. I just realized it. I was thinking, wait, you must, there must be a situation where you'd run out of money. But that's how you can't softlock. It's because you always have the option of turning in Phineas. Oh, and that must also open the thing. Anyway, hello. Is it just me or is Groundbreaker feeling extra chilly? Maybe you ought to help yourself to a piping hot frozen dinner. What are you saying, Martin? That's an anti-Cleo's product. My, whoa, what have I done? 
The company will have my head. Both of them. This is awful. Help me, oh Lord! Gotcha. What I wouldn't give to see the look on your face. This guy's real easy to fuck with. What, what kind of depraved mind would conjure such a nightmare? That is brilliant. That's Ellie, isn't she great? Agree to disagree. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to put this behind us and forget it ever happened. Deal. Right, let's see what you got for sale. Uh, have a look. Right, so I would like to sell all my junk. Okay, so we have a little bit of money back there. Can I sort this by... Not by name. Value... Yeah, that's what I'm wanting. And I can sell some of these. I just have to sell one of these? Oh, I'm never gonna... Well, I might dodge. Um... Changes the damage type to shock damage, maybe? Uh... Yeah, this... This one just increases your defense against shock. Yeah, uh, wait, no, no, no. I want to sell. There we go. Yeah, that's good that I didn't do that. Value. Oh, yeah, this is much more like it. Uh, sell the assault rifle. Oh, right, there we go. Anything actually worth any reasonable amounts of money? This one is. The electrocharged surface. This stuns melee attackers. Don't need it. Anything else? Uh, no, okay. Um, well, let's see what else we got in here. Uh, welder's goggles? We can sell those. Ooh, maybe I should... Uh, actually, while I remember... Ellie, do you need armor? Armor is really good, actually. Yeah, okay. I give her the goggles. Oh, not that we can see them anyway. So she might as well just give her that. That's fine. Yep. Uh, I can sell the rest of it. What can I do? Hey. Don't do uh, I would I like to look. sell you some more random bits. Right. What else have we got? Oh, blade on a stick. Definitely sell it. Um, anything else we can sell here? Plasma rifle? Well, at least one of those can be sold. Um, I have a lot of fruit. Selling that one by one is going to take a while, though. Uh, let's, wear, let's sell all of this gear. That's not getting me an awful lot. I need to sell something that's worth more. Toughened? Yeah, sure, I'll sell both of those. Um, do I want to sell Montag? It is a flamethrower, so probably not. Silver tongue kit sounds cool as well. Melee weapon? Nope. Gone. That's a melee weapon mod. Anything that says melee weapon mod, okay, I'll just sell. Immediately. Uh, increases the range at which interactable objects are highlighted. Nah, that's fine. I'm, I'm confident in my ability to search. Don't need a shot cannon. Um, uh, anything else I can sell? Backpack? Tempting, but probably can sell it. Hunter kit? Increases your ranged weapon skills. No, a uh, nightingale step? I'm not going to sneak. Probably. We're still not really looking very good in terms of money. We need a little bit more. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm going to sell the weapon accuracy ones, because we don't really need them. Scope that extends the weapon's max range. Don't need it. 10,000. Good. That's what I was after. Right. Uh, let's go and pay Lattice the 10,000. Ooh, mine. 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 Nice. Hello. Gracious. I was just sitting down for tea. Well, I was just giving you these 10,000 bits. Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a tear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? No. Well, once you talk... Well, you know what? Actually, that's fine. Anytime. We've already done the opportunity, haven't we? Which one did she give us? 
Gladys gave us that one. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so we can now leave. I know Monarch's a moon. I think it counts anyhow. Yeah, me too. There's paying work. You can count me in. Right, so let's go to Sublight. I, I suppose we could have left this place without going to Monarch, so... There was other ways to make money, but... Yeah. I, I just wanted to get the money there. Right, let's use this. Got anything to say to each other? Hey, we actually had elevator music that time. Hello. If this is something Tobias could handle, see yourself out the door. It's not, I got a nav key. Sure is. Welcome aboard, contractor. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. Um, what's Sublight doing in Fallbrook? A few of my contractors run flights in there and out again. Working around the board embargo. We keep the community lubricated with a steady supply of booze and unconventional erotica. Byzantium kids with more money than sense can thank Sublight for their good time. How unconventional. Asking for a friend. One of my guys filmed a raptodon grinding on an auto mech. Didn't end well for anyone, including the cameraman. Okay then. What kind of salvage are we looking for? When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off-world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tanks of Alta Vitae gas. Hmm, okay, so I'm going after Alta Vitae gas? What exactly is that? It's exactly one million bits per cubic meter. Before you get too excited, the only thing rarer than Alta Vitae gas is a reliable buyer. Dangerous stuff. Acid for the nucleon in your cells. It's no good to anyone outside of a lab. But it can be a lot of fun, if you don't mind the possibility of rewiring your body on an atomic level. You and I have different notions of fun, Dr. Fenhill. Well, I'll take the job. Now get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes on the back of your head. Understood? What am I looking for? Don't go looking for anything, except salvage. Just watch out. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. Good enough for me. Alright then. I guess we have a quest. Good gig if you don't mind where the bits come from. Good to know where you stand with this. Right. So now it's time to leave the planet, I think. But you know what? We're gonna do that next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye. <laughs>